Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this sewing machine organizer. It has eight pockets on it. You can also put a few more on it if you want to or a few less. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is layer your fabrics for the main portion of the organizer. So as you'll see, here is my fabric that goes on the very back. And you place the back side, excuse me, you place the pretty side, that's called the front side or right side of the fabric, that goes against your table. Then between your top fabric and that bottom fabric is your layer of cotton batting. And the cotton batting is cut the same size as your top fabric here. Then you want to center it on this bottom fabric and I have one inch around all four edges. You want to take your time getting it placed so that it all you have the same amount of fabric around all four sides. Then you want to take straight pins and just scatter them all over the top and that's to help hold your layers of fabric together while you do your quilting stitches. Here are some samples of some quilt stitch patterns. And what it is is just doing straight lines going every two to three inches across. And then you turn it and then you go the opposite way. All of these stitches help hold your layers together so that the cotton batting doesn't come apart or not lay quite as flat as it should. This one here is the same pattern, but it looks different because I used a serpentine stitch. And really, all computerized sewing machines should have this on there. So you want to check your user's manual. You may have to adjust the length and width to get it to look like this. Now, let's take a look at the presser foot I recommend you use. And this is called a walking presser foot. I get comments all the time from viewers. They don't understand why their fabric stretches and puckers and doesn't look good when they do their quilting stitches. It's because they're not using the correct presser foot. You can purchase these at a sewing machine supply store or you can order them off the internet. You can go on to sewing machine parts online enter the model name of your sewing machine and you should be able to find one for your machine. Now go to your ironing board and go to all four sides and you're going to fold them over just one quarter inch and press. And again, do that on all four sides. Take your fabric for the pockets and place the cotton batting in. So this is the side or the section that is your eight inch wide piece of fabric. You put your four inch wide piece of cotton batting and this one here, you put your six inch piece of cotton batting and you just put it down on one edge. Then fold it over and line up your edges. And what I like to do after I fold it over is go to the ironing board and just press along that fold line. Take your larger pocket piece, this is the one that's six inches wide this way, place it down at the lower edge, and this is your 20 inch wide edge right here. So place that one down there, then take your smaller pocket piece and also place it down there on the edge. And then you want to place pins to hold all the layers uh, together. So scatter those around over the top. Now it's going to be up to you where you want to do your stitch lines to designate the different pockets. So look at the tools and the items that you wish to store in here. Some could be really narrow when you want to just put something like this in there, excuse me, or it could be wider when you have a big uh, little container of pins 
or any other gadgets that you want to place in here. I advise you to place your really long items like maybe a pair of scissor scissors in the back pocket section and your smaller items in the front pocket section. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to do about three different stitch lines. Once you determine the size of your pockets, then start up here at the top edge, back stitch, stitch down towards the bottom edge, and then back stitch again. Now just do a basting stitch, oh about an eighth of an inch from the edge, to secure the pockets all along here. So you're going to go around all three edges of the pockets. Now you're going to take your bottom edge as well as the top edge, fold this fabric over, and then place pins to hold. You may have to pin across going this way. And then once you've got it all pinned, then you want to stitch from this edge or on this edge right along here all the way across. And again, you do it at the bottom and top edge. Now take your other two edges and fold them over and then stitch along this edge right along here. And again, you do it on your last two edges. Now wasn't that quick to make? And I put my pockets about five inches apart, the little stitch lines, but remember, you can do make them any width you want. So I have two, four, six, eight different pockets. Now let me show you what it looks like on the back because everyone wants to know. It looks just plain. There's really nothing there. Now this is a very small machine, so you could, if you wanted to, make it narrower or leave it this size. Now I have two very large machines and this was just fine under that. But remember, just you can make it any size you want. So if you want it larger, you can always make it larger. And this part here hangs over the edge of your table in front. So this is really going to help you get your items organized. And if you're interested in other beginners sewing projects, also look below your YouTube screen for those video links. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.